Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to do a quick um, update on that EDC, uh, that little $99 special I was doing. Um, basically, it's just flying along. Uh, these are the six blades. It's uh, it's almost nine o'clock now. I got up at six this morning to go and heat treat them. So I'm gonna temper them now, and they'll be ready for uh, for grinding probably tomorrow because I'm gonna go to work later today. So I'm gonna get these tempered now. You can see I've started the scales. Um, this pattern's not done. You can see on this one, like my personal EDC, how deep those grooves go, or like how far in they go. So that's what's going to be happening with these. I just started them last night just to get a get the uh, the groove spaced out and everything. But you can see we have all six with the pins and the uh, the tubes ready to go. Everything's been shaped. So all I have to do is basically epoxy them on, then clean up the excess epoxy when they're dried. But that's the uh, just to give you a better look at the patterns or the colors, that's the uh, the coyote brown and the uh, earth brown. And these are all layered G10, but when you actually order it, you can get one by one layers or two by two layers. And basically, uh, what that means is when they stack these, I don't know if you can see on the spine of this one, you can actually see each layer of G10. They actually do two thin layers instead of one, so that when you put do the grooves, you get bigger bands of color in there. But anyway, that's the. Uh, Coyote brown, or yeah, coyote brown, coyote tan and earth brown. This is the uh, OD green and black. I really like that color combo. Um, these are the two um, tan and black. They're just uh, basically the same. Like I said, this pattern is not done. Obviously, it's still going to come in quite a bit further on all of these. And then these are the two sets of black. They're uh, yeah, just plain black. One has the uh, actually they both have the uh, the OD green liners. So. Um, so yeah, also one thing I wanted to say is if anyone wants to, I have one set of uh, black and OD green again. They're not done yet, but if you have one of these four and you want black and OD green instead, you can let me know uh, with an email and I can easily switch them to this, but you'd have to let me know in the next day or two um, before I get them done and epoxied. So I do have a set of black and OD green. Uh, they'll end up looking a lot like these just with the, with the groove pattern in it. So let me know, because I can switch uh, one of these four for a pair of plain black. Uh, also, I have uh, these black and OD green scales that are going on this Tanto, which is taped up because it's finished. So I can actually epoxy these today, probably. I just have to uh, to rough up the steel a bit and get them ready to go. So I'll probably do a video, actually, on putting scales on my knife, just because uh, I'd like to show you guys how that's done. So yeah, that's the update. I'm going to get them in the oven now, tempering. I do two two-hour runs at 400 Fahrenheit, which brings them down. Right now, they're at around 67 Rockwell, which is full hardness for 01. Um, when I heat treat them and you temper them, that'll bring it down to kind of the, the really low 60 range, maybe 60, 62 kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to get them in the oven now. I'm going to drink a coffee because it's I haven't had one yet today, which uh, I don't like going more than... 20 minutes after I wake up without having a coffee so anyway guys that's the update thanks for watching and uh, anyone who the guys who have these reserved guys or girls um, if you have any questions or anything shoot me an email like I said if you want to switch any someone who has one of these four sets if you want to switch to black and OD let me know ASAP and I can do that for you so thanks for watching guys